Okay guys, so in this video we are going to talk about pre-rendering, so let's get into it. So basically what we're going to cover is what is pre-rendering, how does it work, and when do we actually want to do this. So first and foremost let's back up a moment and talk, talk about rendering or templating if that's your preference. So the process of rendering basically means that in a web application, you have an HTML page of some sort. Now, traditionally, what we used to do was that we had dynamic information that needed to be placed on a page. So a simple website only has the same information every single time, but most websites have dynamic information. As an example, whenever you go to a product page on a web shop, you will notice that the layout of the page is the same, but maybe the image and the price information and the product, all of this stuff is different, right? But, and that is what rendering basically is. It's the same HTML and the same layout of the page is just different information. Now, that is traditional server-side rendering where you're, every time you visit a new web page that is the same temp, that has the same template but different information, we render it on the server. So let's just look at how that works. So here I have, let's take a look in my apps folder here. So here I have this simple, simple little server made in Express and you can see here that I am depending on Pug and I've declared some views and we're going to look at those in just a moment. Here I have a to-dos endpoint and a few endpoints for cats that we're going to look at next. So here, but let, let's focus on this to-dos endpoint. So here you'll notice that I say render and I have an index.html, well not html, but index.pug to illustrate this. So this is a pug file. Now what's basically going to happen now is that whenever I hit the to-dos endpoint, the, fu the function, this, go this function here, is going to be called and it's going to load the index.pug file and it's going to add in the to-dos from my to-dos. Well, basically it's going to reverse the to-dos and this is just a little bit of data to showcase the whole thing, right? So when we now go to my website here, not the cats, let's go to the to-dos. To-dos, you'll see that here it says bass, bar, and foo. And if I refresh, it's going to say foo, bar, and bass. Because every time I refresh this page, it's just going to reverse the array over and over and over and over. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Every time I visit this web page, it is going to take the data and the template that I have, de that I have defined here, go through the elements and render out this into a string. And then it's going to send that data to my browser. Now. This is great if I have information that needs to change every time I visit a web page. As an example, if I am in a web shop, I don't want to have a massive e-commerce site with a bunch of stale data. It's important for me to have the freshest information whenever I show a product because as you can imagine, maybe the price of the product has changed. Maybe you're clicking between different pages with different products. You want this to be server-side rendered if you're not building an SVO or anything like that, but that's a different discussion. So when do we want to do pre-rendering? Well, pre-rendering basically means that we want to create static documents. What is a static document? A static document is just a static HTML file. In other words, if I go to, this is a rendered HTML file, but I could have just as easily hard coded all of these to do's into this template here and not even render it. It could just have been an HTML file. As an example, this is a static HTML file. We're going to look at how this is created in just a moment, but this is a static document. There's no dynamic information. I'm not rendering anything into this. It's just a file that I send to the browser. Now, static documents are perfect for when you have information that doesn't change. It basically is the same information every single time. An example of a static document is if you go to a landing page of some sort, it's very rare that the company updates their landing page every single time. Usually they have the same mission and vision and the concept and so forth. So they just serve that up, right? So pre-rendering, it's just a way for us to create static documents before we actually serve them up. It's just a way to make that easier for us, if that makes sense. Because as you can imagine, if you have one single static document that you want to serve up, well, then you can probably just go into an HTML file like this and just kind of 
oh, I just go and update things by on the fly. But if you use pre-rendering, what you're basically doing is that you're taking a bunch of data and then you are processing that data into static documents. So let's look at how that can work. So there are many ways of doing this. I'm just going to show you a way that works without, uh, just to kind of get the basic idea into your head, right? So here I have this render.js file. So what is this? Well, basically what this is, it's going to pull in pug. It's going to pull in my cats, which is this little JavaScript file here. And all this is, is an array of different cats or names of you know, cat files and a reference to a file name. And these are my images of different cats. That's it. That's all it is. So this is some data that I want to convert into a pre-rendered doc pre static document of some sort. So my render file is now going to also depend on the path and the file system or the FS module. And then I'm going to go and grab the cat overviews page because I have two I have two different types of pages here. I have one page where you can see all the cats and one for where you can see each individual cat. And then it's just going to render out the cats. Notice that this is basically the same thing that we did here in the server. It's the difference here is that I'm doing this once. I'm doing this before I start up my server. This is happening every single time someone hits the hits my uh, my server on this endpoint, and that means that I'm re-rendering this every single time. So there's a, there's a lot of extra work to be done here. And remember, I want that if I have a situation where it's in it's basically impossible for me to create a pre-rendered static web web page for every single thing I have as an example, on a web shop, because you might have thousands of products. It's not possible. To, it's, it's very unsustainable, at the very least, to pre-render everything. You could, but it's up to you if you want to do that. And after I've done that, after I've rendered out this overview template, I'm left with a string. That's all I have. And now I'm just going to write that to the overview.html file. It's this thing here. So basically what I've done is that I've taken this pug file, I have ran it, run it through a function that with the cats data and just rendered out a static document. And this is the result. That's it. And then after that, I go through each of the cats and I do the same thing for each individual cat. And I create one file per cat. So I have this one template file, which is called cat.pug, that is just going to create a HTML page with an image. And then it renders out each of these HTML pages. So what I'm now left with is that I can go and I can say cats. And here are here's my cat overview page. And I can go in and I can click on a cat. And here is my cat page with the file name like so. Or like the endpoint that I want uh, that I want the the <laughs> the server to serve up. So if we look at the server again, you'll notice that here is my overview. It is not rendering anything. This is rendering things. This is doing work every time I hit it. This is just converting this static file here to, well, basically to bytes sent over the network. There's no, it's just reading up the file. I could even hold this in memory if I wanted to, basically, if I, I, I'm pretty sure. And the same thing goes for the cats. So what I want you to take away from this is that pre-rendering is a very good way of creating a very performant, website when you can basically just survive on static assets, but you have enough information that it would be a lot of hassle to have to go into every single file and copy paste it. So instead of copy pasting and manually doing all this work, maybe you can do something like this where you can just put your data in some format. You don't have to do it like this. It could be anything. You could create an entire blog where maybe you create the blog in some type of markup, uh, such as uh, say that you do things in Markdown. And then you could create a parser that parse that markdown and spit in the, all of the markdown into an HTML page and then it just generates all of your blog posts. So this is a very, pre-rendering is a very powerful and simple way to create a website that is fairly large but mostly uses static information. And we want to do that when we can get away with it because it's always going to be more performant. But in a large scale system where you might have thousands and thousands and thousands of different types of information on the same template, it might not be the best choice. So hopefully that made sense to you. Have a great day.